Hey everyone, we are going to make a weekly daily Wednesday podcast, The Vin Way, which is kind of like the wrong way, only faster. But we are starting off with Adore, it's our multi track recorder that we use. These are, this is the processing that's done live, but it's also going to be applied when we export um, the four tracks we have here, because the way Adore works is it just records the raw audio and any automation that you apply to it when we stem the export. And we do have a couple of options that we can play around with. Um, let's take a look at edit. This is the option to normalize if you wanted to do like, you know, negative 16 lofts if you're working with that scale. I'm not going to mess with that. I'm just going to put it out. Basic wave, 48 float, and no dithering. But let's see. Let's give it a label. We do not need revisions. Time spans. We're not that fancy. And that's our time span. That's the start and end that you see in the background. And we're going to pick our tracks. That's me, Jill, Pedro, and the music. And I'm going to apply the bus processing. That way, for my audio and everything else, we'll get the compressor and gate and all that. But we'll end up with four WAV files that we're going to pull into Audacity. You're probably familiar with this program. If you've ever had to mess with audio, Highlight these, and this will pull in our four audio tracks. That's Jill, the music, and Pedro, and me. And this is handy if we need to make edits individually. But the first thing I do is you can see in the music track, that's just the, you know, when we end the show. That comes up. There's a lot of silence there, and I'm going to make sure it's silent because we're going to pump up the volume just a little bit. Now, if I needed to go back and, you know, if someone coughed or anything like that, this makes it real easy to make those edits before I smash everything down to a um, stereo pair. If we want to do like normalized compression, or anything individually, but we don't have to do that. I'm going to highlight everything, and we are going to mix it to a new track. So this will take all four of these tracks, and we'll end up with one, two channel, stereo. This is going to have everything in it. Let's see. There it is. So I can get rid of the four individual tracks and the level I record at through Adore is right around minus 12 dB. I'm going to bring that up a little bit with the level speech plugin. You can use Chris's compressed dynamics. That works very well too, but we don't need anything fancy. We're going to bring it up 25%. That'll get everything around like negative nine, negative six. Take a look there. Nah, that's about where I want it. Not too much louder than that. Um, I think a good rule of thumb, you really don't want to be over negative six. Take a look at the waveform. And yeah, that looks good to me. I'm going to take this, export it out. Two way file, uncompressed, and I'm going to do a 32 bit float because that's what DaVinci Resolve likes. And that is, oddly enough, the next step in creating a podcast here. Like I said, this is the Vin way. So that should have given us. Yeah. Now we have a gigabyte of audio and our 140 gigabyte video file, which also has a 
an uncompressed two-channel audio track to it as well. I'll show you that in a moment. I'm going to open up the LWDW template for video showcasting, which just has, you know, the intro with that music in it. And we're going to move our new WAV file and our movie file into the project. Because what I want to do now is take the multi-track audio that we've smashed down and brought up and kind of leveled out a little bit and sync it with the video. And I'm doing that with just by matching the waveform since the movie file already has the audio synced with the video. This is just syncing the WAV file that we just created with that audio and using that instead of what was currently. And, then, and I'm going to pop over to Fairlight and just kind of give it a look since I have the uh, Luff scale dialed in on this and just make sure it's not going over that too much. So there's not much to do from here outside of trimming the ends off and exporting it now. Huge fan of Resolve, as I'm sure you know by now. But criticism words do. The Fairlight, which is the audio system, it's junk, at least under Linux. It's not junk. It's severely limited because it doesn't support any of um, the LV2 plugins that I use, like in Outdoor. Can't use any of those. So, you know, preferable. Yeah, I, I really would like to be able to bring all the multi track audio directly into Resolve and do all the editing here, then kind of skip the audacity step, but. It's not there yet. Plus, it doesn't work with my control surface, so I'd have to do everything with a mouse. Maybe that will get fixed in the future. But until then, we do it this way. So, yeah. I've just faded that out and brought the audio down just a bit. So, with our export, this is one, this is the video that I'm going to send to YouTube. And, you know, it's just MPEG, QuickTime, 1080p, 60, nothing fancy, network optimized, but with the audio, PCM Wave, 32-bit, and, you know, stereo pair, two-channel. So when we export that out, um, our 100-gigabyte file will be smashed down to... Something a bit more usable, and this is where we're going to get our audio from our podcast, because here's our 5 gig file. It's got the intro music and, you know, the fades, or any audio edits that I need to make. I don't like duplicating work, so, you know, I have the audio for the video, and what I can do is just suck it right out of the uh, file we just created. Because if we take a look at it, that's uh, it's uncompressed PCM 32-bit. So I'm just going to use FFmpeg to copy the audio from the video into a new WAV file. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm using, you know, 16-bit. You can do 32-bit at this point. It doesn't matter because we're about to smash it down to an MP3. And ultimately, you could just drag that into Audacity, because this is where we're going, but this is infinitely faster than waiting for that process. So now we have what effectively is the podcast in uncompressed wave. We haven't done any no, lossy conversion to it. And I'm just doing some spot checks, making sure the levels are good. Let's take a look at the waveform DB. That's fine. So now we are going to make the MP3, which I'm sure you know 
this part. Um, I do join stereo because we do have like audio at the beginning. And if you smash that down to mono, it just it doesn't sound good. It's passable at 96K joint stereo. And it's a small enough file. This is where you can do all of your ID3 tags, but we're going to skip that part because I use another program that you may or may not have heard of, but I found it very useful. So we've done that, we've exported it, and our gigabyte of audio is now 30 megs, well, 500 megs. And easy tagging is what I use to, you know, put a title in, yeah, a tyke, tyke. We're going for that. Hey man, I'm trying to learn to use a brand new keyboard and a trackball mouse at the same time. Bear with me. But I can put the cover art and, you know, links to URLs and show description, all that fun stuff in. So when we go to open it, boom. Then I'm just going to take that, send it to Amazon, and they're going to send me up. Big bill back. It's brilliant. Okay. Go make something awesome. Bye bye.